Hi, this is Jeff Blauett, Cooperative Farmers Elevator, Technical Agronomist, and we're out here on our field Friday here, uh, the first week of September. Uh, we're going to go out and look at some corn today. I uh, just thought I'd touch on a few things, what you could be doing in your own corn fields that could maybe help you make some decisions going forward. I uh, thought we'd take a look at a specific field uh, that's an example of some things that could be going on. Uh, there's lots of other things you could be looking for, but this is a great time of year to be looking at things out in your cornfield. Uh, we're out in some fields that are their silage starting to fly, so it's easier to get out into some of these fields. But even if it isn't, uh, don't be afraid to plow through the end rows. It's been a little cooler lately. It's nice to have a long sleeve shirt or a, a jacket on and go out and look at your field. See if there's anything going on that you want to be aware about. Uh, we kind of want to maybe look at, you know, there's some stock health things. There's some things maybe we didn't know was going on. We're probably going to see a lot more aphids uh, causing that bottom of that plant to be a little maybe unhealthy, uh, probably cannibalize a little bit more than we thought. Maybe we had some rooting issues we didn't realize and we had some trouble taking up nitrogen and that corn plant's firing on the bottom. All these things are going to be important because that can affect stock quality at the end of the season here. And we want to be aware of that so we don't let that corn stand out there assuming it's going to be able to dry in the field. I get it, corn's $3, we don't want to spend any money drying it, but we also don't want a bunch of it laying in the field and losing a bunch of it for next year, uh, volunteer corn, as well as it's just bushels not going in the tank. So that we'd go out and look, this field has some strips of fungicide and insecticide versus untreated. Uh, it's kind of interesting what we're going to see. Uh, it's an example of what might be going on in your field as well. So let's take a look. Now. We're going to walk from the treated into the untreated and see if we can see the difference in aphid residue and overall plant health. I think you'll note the amount of aphid residue on these plants and the husks. There was evidence that these plants definitely had aphid infestation. You can see they're not as clean. There's residue from them being here, for sure. As well as the lower parts of the plant are definitely fired higher because of the juices that got sucked out by the aphids. You can see on these leaves and these husks, you can see the amount of black mildew on those plants. Uh, that's an indication there's a lot of honeydew from those aphids and that's not going to help that plant obviously as that nutrient load gets sucked out of it. We can see just by looking at the ear pictures, uh, this ear board is the same size obviously so you can see a little bit more ear fill, just a little bit more ear length where we had the treated versus the untreated ears and I think that's going to translate to yield rather well. So after we look at this, uh, a couple things I see that are a, a good learning experience. Uh, we talked in July about the strobilarian fungicides and a few of the things they do that maybe are uh, not just disease protection, although we do see some improved uh, plant health here from disease. Uh, the gray leaf spots less, the rust is less. But the other thing that we did is we probably aided that plant's ability to deal with stress and also making it more efficient utilizing nitrogen. I think you can see that on as we walk through here on those lower canopies where it's more fired on the bottom. We probably made that plant a little bit more efficient utilizing nitrogen. This field had no problem with fertility. It's got a manure history even though it's corn on corn. It shouldn't have had a shortage of nitrogen. But probably the thing that it does have is we got dry, really dry in July and those roots weren't able to extract that nitrogen 
solar fungicide probably made it more uh, efficient at utilizing it and I think that's going to help us out at the end in yield. But those are just a couple things that you can see. You can find lots of things. Maybe there's other diseases showing up. Uh, maybe you had some disease or some uh, pollination stress that shows up and that'll probably tell you that plant's under stress and might want to be harvested earlier. Uh, all those things are valuable to know in your own corn crop as we get into fall. Uh, so we can be the most profitable we possibly could be by getting every bushel we can into the combine. So with that, that's Field Friday for this week, and we'll see you next week.